what's good? Shout out to all the real sports fans out there. Something spectacular sports. Let's get it. Watch this. Look, this is a review of the Fight Camp Part 2. Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Porter. We 12 days away until the weigh-in. Speaking of the weigh-in, since it's unification, Earl Spence doesn't have to weigh in in the morning of the fight. So look for him to be a little bit bigger, especially dealing with a guy that's rough like Earl Spence. So the fight that he fought Mikey in is going to look totally different. He's going to be physically bigger because he's expecting a war, which I, I believe that Earl's, um, Sean Porter, that's his best chance of winning and making it a brawl, making it real rough, a la um, when he fought Keith Thurman and Andre Berto. But um, just reviewing this joint right here, I like the fact that um, I like the fact that homeboy is in the mountains. Check him out. Me, I just came back from riding my bike like 10 miles, so I know the feeling of riding a bike is amazing. Check it. During the camp, I'm usually on the bike about once a week. That make me want to just go to Nevada because I love bike riding so much. Like I got a mountain bike, I get a fast bike, but um. Yeah, I like, I like, just to recap, man, I like he was doing this one. Of course, I can't show the whole video, but I like the fact that they show, you know, both of them as good, good, good fathers, you know what I mean? They take and make sure they're including their children in their life. Um, Sean Porter got a little son. Um, Earl Spence got two daughters. They close in age. They always in the gym. Um, and, he, and Earl Spence got a homeboy that be, um, you know, he'd be looking out for. And he also just talking about how he got some Crocs or whatever. But um, the only thing different in this one was like they brought in a, a sparring partner, Earl Spence did, where he um, he's like he like guys that don't see themselves as a sparring partner, which I can understand that some people just a sparring partner they get they check, but you got to have people down there that that perceive themselves as champions that's gonna fight you totally different because Sean Porter ain't gonna Sean Porter gonna do his best. I believe Sean Porter gonna lose, but he ain't gonna at least. He gonna at least fight more than the sparring partner, so that's a good thing right there. Um, I did see a comment where Kenny Porter, Ken, Sean Porter, told Kenny Porter like, "Yo, you you confused me. Told me to do this, then you switched it." Kenny Porter didn't admit that. You know what? My fault. He just said, "You know what? Well, that's how it is in the fight game," which is, which is kind of true though. Say what you want about Kevin, um, Kenny Porter. He gets his son. He gets the best out of his son. It's definitely room for improvement with Sean Porter. I'm not sure if it's too late in the game because his accuracy and he crowds his punches. But he definitely brings out the best in his son. He made his son a millionaire. You know what I mean? Say what you want. K. Diddy be, be there for his son, though. And they and they taking the fight because I thought that everybody else was saying that their eyes wasn't on um, Earl Spence. Now Earl Spence's popularity has grown, so his reward and risk level has evened out. Still a big risk, but the reward level is there, especially after they've seen him go the distance with Mikey. But, um, yeah, so I like I like the, that training part right there. And one thing about Earl, he's not in no fancy gym. He in a real hot gym in Dallas. And he was just talking about how when he get the, um, you know, fight when it comes to fight time, it's going to be AC. So he just going he just going to do his thing. But um, I'm looking forward to the fight. Like I said, we 12 days away. I'm curious to see how much how much bigger Earl is going to be because he's been fighting for the IBF since what, 2017. So he, he probably haven't had to do that, um, that way in things since maybe, maybe three years ago. So he's going to be much bigger. But one thing I can tell you about being much bigger, sometimes it makes you sluggish. So that could work for him or it could actually hurt him. He might not be, he might be stronger, but he might not have that stamina to go to distance. Cause one thing about Sean Porter, he got a chin, and he got good stamina. And he's been in there with big names. Thurman, Danny, Carol Brook. I mean, he's been in there with a lot of big names, even just with Ugas. But um, I really look forward to this fight, man. Um, I'm going to try to go live doing it. Like I said, um, this this my new channel, Something Spectacular Sports. Y'all know me. Um, Y'all know who it is. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's going to be real interesting, man, to see if, Sean Porter can do something unexpectedly. I like the fact that when he was talking to Randall Cunningham, they um, Randall Cunningham, who he goes to his church maybe like twice a week in Vegas. Um, Randall Cunningham, for those who don't know, quarterback for the Eagles, black quarterback, and he's just talking about 
you know, how they use their faith and um, do different things. And he presented this fight like how it was Tyson against Holyfield. And I said, you know what? That's true because Tyson, nobody gave Holyfield a chance. Nobody gave Holyfield a chance. It was like Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. And he done the unexpected. So in this case, Earl Spence is, who is like Tyson. And, and Holyfield can be like Sean Porter if he pulled up the upset. You know what I mean? So I thought that was a good... I thought that was a good um, metaphor that they used on there. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight, man. September the 28th. I want to see what happens when Earl get punched to the body. I want to see what happens when somebody is overly aggressive towards him. What game plan is he going to have? Because he showed a different game plan against Mikey. I want to see him show a different game plan against um, Showtime Sean Porter. Um, yeah. It'd be crazy if he pulled off the upset. I doubt it, but we've seen things happen. This is year 2019. What's your thoughts on that? Have y'all seen it? Fight Camp um, Fight Camp 360 Part 2. What's your thoughts on the fight? Does Sean Porter got a chance to... What, what can he do to neutralize Earl Spence? And what are Earl Spence's weaknesses that um, Sean Porter uh, can capitalize on? Like I said, it's something spectacular sports. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe for the realest. I'm out of here. Peace. Yeah.